Hi, welcome to Magic Uncut. My name's Graham. Behind the camera we have my lovely wife, Diane. Say hi, Diane. Hi, Diane. Diane, ask me any question about magic. What is the choice box? The choice box is an effect that was released by TCC. It's a sort of prediction box, a prediction chest. Uh, it's got multiple uses and I've been racking my brains to think about how I could use it. And then I remember I used to do, or still do, uh, Wayne Dobson's Smash and Stab. In fact, if you go to the description, there is a link to a performance of Smash and Stab, which I did a few years ago. Um, but what I've done is I've combined the two effects and I've come up with Smash and Stab, the prediction. So if you come down here, Diane, I'll show you what we've got. Okay, so I've got some items on the table here, but what's important is this. If you come in here, you can see I've got a little wooden box here, and that has my prediction in it, right? Now, I'm going to call it my smash and stab prediction, and I'll put that on there. Now, um, I want you to keep that in shot, because uh, it isn't getting going to get switched in or switched out or altered or changed. Um, it's there, and it's a prediction, and it's on view. Now, I've got this little rotating turntable here, and I've got these um, wooden turned hand turned bases okay quite harmless and um, if you imagine this is the front that's the back that's my right that's my left do you want front back left or right back, back? and I'll put that at the back now as you can see uh, it goes there and we have another one do you want it front back left or top. top the front so and you're not in on this no okay and what about this one left, left. Or left so that'll go there, and that means this one, which is the sinister one, goes to the right. Now, this has a metal spike. It's exactly the same base, but there's a metal spike built into it. Now, unlike other effects that uh, use spikes, um, this is a genuine spike. If you bring your hand down on there, it's got a real sharp point, and you're going one place and one place only, that's accident and emergency. If you're coming really close here, you can see that is a solid spike. In fact, just dab your hand on there and just, yeah, that's sharp. Yeah, okay. So, very, very dangerous, and... Uh, there's a few people have come a cropper with this particular version of the effect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it rotating like that, and you can see the spike is easy to follow. So what we're going to do is I've got some cups here, and we're going to cover up um, the various bases. So I'll take the first one, front, back, left or right? Back. Back, which is that one. Front, back, left or right? Right. Oop. Right which is that one, front, back, left or right? Left. Left, which covers the spike, and that one goes there. Now if I start to rotate them, you can see it would be possible to actually follow where that spike is, but it gets, gets harder, and you'd have to track it. So what I'm going to do is, I don't want you, you're not in on this? No. I don't want you to know where it is, so can you look away, please? And what I'll do is I'll blank the screen now so that the audience who are watching this don't know where the spike is and I'll unblank the screen or unblur the screen and if you can look back, Diane, do you know which one of them has the spike in it? Now, I could have possibly tracked the spike. So I'm going to keep it going like that and I want you to come up and show everybody I'm looking away yeah. so even I don't know where it is, yeah? yeah? And I'll come back and I genuinely don't have a clue, right? Okay, imagine... This is position number one, this is position number two, this is position number three, and this is position number four. I'm going to take this first one, where do you want it? One, two, three, or four? One. One. And um, I'll take this one, one, two, three, or four? Three. Three, and that goes there. Okay. Uh, this one? Two. Two. And the last one will go in position number four. Now, random choices random positions arrived at by pure chance but i'm going to mix it up even more i've got these numbers one two three and four and i'm going to mix them up like that okay and if the audience was here i'll get the audience to mix these as well and i'm going to take the first one and i'm going to hold it like that and it, just at any point you're going to see a stop when you want to stop there now do you want to go on because i don't want you to think it's some kind of timed force no you want it there so that now becomes number three. Can you say that? And if you come in, you can, you can show people that it's number three. I'm going to take the next one. Same thing. Stop. There. Yeah. And that becomes number four. Okay. See the idea? Stop. 
There? Do you want to go on a one? No. And that becomes number one. So that's mm -hmm. the only one that's actually in the right position. And this one then becomes number two. So we have two in the right position, two in the wrong position. I'm going to give you the chance to swap any two you want. Do you want to swap two? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which two? One and three. One and three. And I'm going to give you the chance to do it one more time, but only one more time. Do you want to swap another two? No. No? You're happy with it like that? Yeah. Okay. So, random choices have arrived at this being number one, this being number four, number two, and number three. Remember what I told you. I made a smash and stab prediction. I, I actually told you a little bit of a lie. I didn't make one prediction. I actually made four. Four predictions and if you come in here you can see there's number one number two number three and number four yeah relating to the cups and above each one in a little dotted is a piece of paper so we'll start at that end it's which is number three and we'll take piece of paper number three out and I'm just going to put that down there I don't want you to think there's anything going on toward so number three I wrote the word safe Okay, so if that's safe, I'll just put this out back on there. If that's safe, number three, I should be able to do this. Right, the next one is number two. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to take it here and I want you to come in and see. There's number two and I'm going to take that piece of paper out of there like that. And I'm going to put that back on there like that. And I'm going to open number two. And I predicted number two would be safe. If that's the case, I should be able to do that. That leaves four and one, both of which are not in their correct positions. And you weren't in on this. No. Number four is this one here and if I take out piece of paper number four ah piece of paper number four I've wrote the word danger I've wrote the word danger on number four I'm gonna leave that one there and just for clarity I'm gonna take number one out now and I'm gonna show you that on number one I wrote the word safe. This is one I predicted was danger. This is the one I predicted was safe. So I should be able to get away with this. Do you want to see one of my coin tricks? <laughs> the same apple a day, if you come up here, keeps the doctor away. Let's try that out. If my prediction was right, there should be a spike under there. That is the choice box linked to Wayne Dobson's Smash and Stab. Hope you enjoyed that. I think you should. And if you did, there should be another magic trick up here. If you're not a subscriber, you need to subscribe. There's more magic like this coming. Hit the subscribe button. We're approaching 750 subscribers. And when we do, we're going to have another massive giveaway. Thank you very much for your time.